Good morning, Raymond Temple. Today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. Uh, just a few announcements. Remember that our promotion for sixth graders is coming up very soon next Thursday, May 27th. Please make sure if you're a sixth grade that you are aware of what is allowed and what is not allowed. You should have a poster in your classroom. If you're a distance learning scholar, your teacher should have uh, presented to you the PowerPoint of what is allowed and not allowed for your upcoming big day, Promotion 2021. Also want to remind everyone that for the last day of school, Friday, May 28th, you will have different dismissal times. Make sure that you know who's picking you up and make sure they know what time you will be dismissed. If you come sixth grade on Friday after your promotion, you will be dismissed at 12.05. Fifth grade and fourth grade, 12.15 and all the other grade levels, 1230, except for, you got it, TK and Kinder, you're going home at the same time, 1130. Our store, PBIS store, closes tomorrow. All store bucks that are left over in your account will be a raffle, a chance to win our summer raffle. We have about six prizes, and so we will be doing that raffle on Thursday, May 27th, to give you a, a day to pick up your prize if you are a winner. All right, let's take a look at where in the world Aisa is at and also our My Puzzle. I hope some of you recognized where she is at right away, and I also hope some of you have visited this amazing location. All right, for lunch, we have chicken taquitos. Chicken taquitos. Before our word of the day, I want to thank our two scholars, Genesis and Kiana, who uh, traveled and were still learning, were still Raymond Temple scholars while they were traveling, while they were very far away. I believe it was El Salvador, Central America. Anyway, I opened up my box and you know what? I think they've been to my house before because, oh, let me take the back screen out for just a bit. All right, I want you to see. I think they've been to my home because if you go to my home, you will see all my pillows have this exact pillowcase in my travels to different states in Mexico. And I've also been to Central America before. So thank you so much. This is going to go right, right perfectly at my home. I feel like you've been to my home because you picked the perfect gift. Also, my people necklace. Wow, isn't this beautiful. I just absolutely love it. Can't look at the camera because the camera is backwards and it's confusing me. Anyway, I hope you get the idea. I'm never going to be able to work in QVC or online shopping. I'm not very good at this, but I wanted to show it to you. So pretty, so pretty. Thank you very much for your thoughtfulness, scholars. Uh, it means a great deal that you're thinking about your Raymond Temple family, even when you're so far away. I appreciate it. All right, let's do word of the day. Gotta have my background because you'll understand it's a complicated word. It is not a word. It is not a word uh, that is TK kinder all the way to sixth grade. It is a scientific word that I wanted to share with all of you. The word of the day is, oh, I have to hear it again. I hope you can hear it. Lepidopterist. Lepidopterist. 
Lepidopterist. The word of the day, lepidopterist. It means a person who studies or collects butterflies. It's a noun and it's a scientist or a person who studies or collects butterflies. A synonym for lepidopterist is a wildlife scientist. A wildlife scientist. An antonym, what it doesn't mean, is a medical doctor. It's a scientist. Lepidopterist. My sentence with lepidopterist is Raymond Temple has a scholar who is a lepidopterist. Raymond Temple has a scholar who is a lepidopterist. Here's her picture of our very own lepidopterist. I couldn't resist to use that as word of the day. Lepidopterist. Did you know you were a lepidopterist scholar? The word of the day. Let's see how Jimmy signs lepidopterist. I'm going to guess it's butterfly and scientist. Lepidopterist. Now you try, lepidopterist, the word of the day. All right, now you know my background makes sense, right? I hope that was a fun word for you to learn. It's gonna take a while and some practice for you to say it right, or maybe you're gonna get it right the very first time. It is still taking me some time to get it right. Lepidopterist, lepidopterist, lepidopterist. Oh, man, before I, I say goodbye, I almost forgot. A special shout out to those fifth grade scholars in Ms. Demers' class. You crushed the math assessment. Take a look at this beautiful donut. These are not the kind of donuts we eat. These are the kind of donuts that give us data. How are our kids doing? How are they learning? And what do they learn? What do they know? This donut is a beautiful blue with some green. That's the best kind of donut when you're talking data donuts. Great job to Ms. Demers' class in crushing the math assessment. Now, bye-bye. New questions to answer before you come to school. Yes to any of these questions means you please stay home. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.